Hey Tiki, so okay, today we are doing Watermelon Manny. This was requested on Instagram by Jenna Culp. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So we're starting off by using these little circle nail vinyls from Snail Vinyls and I cut them in half because it makes them so much easier to use. Okay, so we're starting off with the accent nail. As you can see, I've painted my two middle nails white using all these white tips. Uh, no particular reason other than I just wanted to try a new white polish other than Alpine Snow. It's really good. The white tips by Oli, I, I do like it. It's two coats and it's opaque. Over the top of that, I placed a coat of Sesh Feet and then I waited 15 minutes. Now, that seems like a long time. I just went and made myself a cup of tea. It's not a big deal for me. This, this particular step, putting that top coat over your base color is so key. Otherwise, you're going to end up in, you're going to cry because the nail vinyl will lift up your base color and you do not want that to happen and as you can see I repositioned that little baby so many times anyway it's really important you cannot forget that step you must put a top coat over your base color so the green that I'm using is from uh, Essie uh, and that is called vibrant vibes and I'm just placing that at the base of my nail near my cuticle as you can see and there's a tiny little bit of cleanup so I didn't use any latex because it's literally not necessary Now next we're coming in with Essie's Groove is in the Heart, which is the really beautiful, beautiful soft pink. Now I'm doing it this way because I wanted there to be a very tiny sort of white gap between the green and the pink. You don't have to do it this way. You can push that pink all the way up to the green, but I just decided to do it this way. Now I'm painting it with a small brush from Picture Polish first before doing the rest of the nail, just so that I can get a really lovely clean line. And then coming back in with the brush from the polish bottle just to finish off the nail. Well, so we're waiting for the large watermelon to dry on the accent nail and moving on to the middle nail and we're going to do some small watermelons using a fine detail brush that I got from Picture Polish. Now these little watermelons could not be easier. It's basically triangles and a half circles. So once you have your pink watermelon shapes, you can then come back in with the green and outline them. Simple. Now next I'm coming in with a little bit of black acrylic craft paint only because I know it's not going to smudge that's the only reason I'm using that you can use black polish but you'll just have to wait longer before you top coat Then to create the three larger seeds on the accent nail watermelon I just loaded up the tip of the brush and then pressed it down gently and that created a watermelon seed shape. And finally, once all of that is dry, you can go ahead and protect it all with a good quality top coat. I am obviously using Sesh Feet for this one. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much to Jenna Culp for requesting it. It was lots of fun to do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. Thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.